Chubby Yes Entertainment. Hello, my name is Shelby Smith of Chubby Yes Entertainment. And welcome to season 8, episode 12 of Simba NYC TV show Out of Brooklyn, New York. This is the month of February, Black History Month, which is celebrated in the United States. Initially known as Negro History Week, it was formed in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson to create awareness and include the representation and achievements of Blacks. This week would later extend to one month, one month out of 12 months spent glossing over the brutal realities of slavery and instead focusing, highlighting, non-violent, non-threatening role models. Let's instead use this month for the purpose intended to battle historical amnesia and remind us all that Black people are a contributing part to this nation. Black history, it's just as much a part of history as any other event. It cannot be wiped away. Black history should pretty much be celebrated whenever and should be acknowledged every day in national history. It is time to show some love. To get this love, it's so simple. Answer this question. Who was the first artist featured on Simba NYC TV and win two tickets, two tickets to Bob Marley birthday bash on February 6th at the iconic SOBs? Good luck. Go to YouTube to this episode of the show and write your answer in the comment section. So let's get the show started. In honor of Black History Month, I want to begin the show with the video Black Lives Matter by Mr. Lee G. Then we will go to Canada and meet a versatile artist, R&B, reggae, pop artist, Shamika Sinclair. And after the interview, we will have Book Talk, Health Corner, and our dramatic melodrama Get Straight. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Eels! Tasty pepper sauce make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Black lives that we 
killing me is when brothers killing brothers in my community when the penitentiary don't got a whole lot of we and the baby mother she can't see the daddy somebody tell me who is the real enemy when i check closely about our story not how we get caught up in mental slavery no knowledge of self so we keep killing we every mama ball and scream for your child when she get the sad news how our son just died Gunshot beating down to bullseye Nothing can stop those tears from our eye That's why I and I heal Rastafari Rastafari till the day I die Lie and our business tell them no lie That's why they listen to the tell die. them black lives matter Yeah We Somebody tell them my life matter Yeah So if my house is burning Don't you wait my neighbor's home I am the one who run 911 Sinclair, welcome back to Simba NYC TV. I'm glad to be back. So glad for having me. Thank you. You are so welcome. You know, when you called and said you had this new video, we were just so happy to have you. Oh, that's so good. I'm good to hear. I'm good to hear that you guys are looking out for it and uh, you're still open to what I have to say. That's Absolutely. Good. So we've met and but I would like for you now at this time to introduce yourself to our Symbol NYC TV viewers who have not met you before. Hello again, everybody. Uh, my name is Shemika Sinclair, and I'm an artist, r and um, I would say all-around artist from Toronto. Um, nice to meet all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, tell us about your musical journey. How did it get started? You know, How did you get started in the music business? Yes, I would say I would. I was always interested in music. So I was a little girl. I've been singing and trying to write music and writing poetry and being creative. Mm -hmm. So I think it was just natural for me to always be singing. And because I was good, people are like, "Keep doing it, keep doing it." Mm -hmm. And every time I went to the studio, I loved it even more, and I would perform. So I always had a love for music for mm -hmm. sure. You touched a little bit on the diversity in your music, the uh, different blends the, the, of genres. Um, describe a little bit more to us about your music and how would you describe your music? Yeah, that's a good question because it's a lot of things. Right now I'm dabbling in spoken word and poetry. Um, I've always been dabbling in it, but my album that's coming out right now, it's called Spoken Word. And I want to infuse the poetry that I love into the music that I love. So I would say I try to be as creative as possible and try to blend everything that I can um, through reggae and R&B fusion to pop. And my vocals is more soulful. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important as well. So I, I always like to blend things. Put them all together and just, just come up with something. Yeah, it just happens like that. It's never just straight R and B mm -hmm. or straight. You know, it's mm -hmm. always something like something else in the mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take a listen to your new song, watch your new video, 
and the song is called Miracles by Shamika Sinclair. Check this out. Unbelievable, love's untreatable, and I say what we need it for, only miracle. Look how you did me, so wrong, I see you playing those calls, now you're waiting for me, for stars. To leave me lonely from home. Unbelievable, love's untreatable, and I say what we need it for. Only miracle. Unbelievable, love's untreatable, and I say what we need it for. It's too late You're only sorry Cause you were The only one you Can't replace I'm only sorry You took his place What you thought this was Between the two of us some say it's our love, we both know it's not What you thought this was between the two of us Some say it's our love, we both know it's not Unbelievable, love's untreatable And I say what we need it for Unbelievable, love's untreatable, and I say what we need it for, only miracle. You know what, I like the, I like the video, I like the song, you know, you, in this song, it's, it's different, it's different. that's the word I was going to use, it's different. the inspiration for that song? Well, the words are, uh, it's a love song, but more being pessimistic about love. Maybe like you're at your end of the rope and it's a true story based on my life. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just thinking that it's the end of the love that you have. Mm -hmm. Being not so Yes. Sometimes it's not all peaches and cream, mm -hmm. and it's, it doesn't last forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, you have to rest. You know, as you're talking about love, when I hear you uh, trying to find the words, the emotions, I, I, I read in your bio that you sing with every piece of your soul. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. And it's hard sometimes. It's like, should I, should I write about that? Mm -hmm. What are the challenges of being an independent artist? You know, we saw you a couple of years ago, and you're still here, just 
turning out the music? What have been some of the challenges? Yeah, independent artists. It's it's good creatively because you get to be as creative as you'd like. You, you get to collaborate with whoever you want. Like It's more free that way. But obviously, you don't have as much people looking at you. You don't have the promotion that all the big companies and the big money has. So that's a bit of a downfall. Um, yeah, it has its pros and cons, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to to get with a major label for a super reason. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But then there's pros to being an independent artist too. If you want all the creativity, you, you don't care mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. anything else, then that's the route to go. So we're gonna watch the your other song. The video, Serious Ting. And again, what is the inspiration for that song? Yes, that's a good song. I love that song because it represents my city. Mm -hmm. I did the video um, at my aunt's restaurant in Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, big up NNS Cook Stop. <laughs> NNS Cook Stop. Yes, mm -hmm. on St. Um, Clair Bond. So it's about the city. It's about feeling good in the city. It's positive vibes. Mm -hmm. I like representing me being a serious artist and representing my city, my city being a serious place. Like we're mm -hmm. we're not a joke. We're not like we're here. We're, yes. we're serious. There's a lot of artists that are very serious out here, mm -hmm. and there's so much more artists that are coming up. I'm so happy about that. Mm -hmm. So it's just you know making people know that we're serious now. To rock. <laughs> So check out Toronto. The song is Serious Thing by Shamika Sinclair. Sickest in the nation. I told you about down and come kiss the throne. A hundred miles an hour. Yes, we gotta go. Pick up, you know it's on me. Step up, I know you got me. Come on, when I got the spot to dip it low, move it slow, speed it up, you gotta go. Pick up, you know it's on me. Step up, I know you got me. Come on, now I got the spot to dip it low, move it slow, speed it up, we gotta go. Serious things, we got the serious things. Serious things, we got the serious things. Creeping in the belly of the 
of your shadow kicking up the dust you left all over you know what you know what i like about the song again i love the fusion of the reggae the the r and b you know it, it's it's different again i have to use the word different and i like that serious team yeah yes i have a lot of love when i perform that song mm -hmm. people are like hey, that is what's up <laughs> You know, we just want to keep on following you. Um, you know, it's a pleasure again to have you on the show and to see where you were before and where you are now. Uh, so we want to keep following you. Uh, give us your social media info so my symbol viewers can certainly keep up with you. Yes. So I am Shamika Sinclair. All of my platforms are the same. S-H-A-M-I-C-A-S-I-N-C-L-A-I-R. Shamika Sinclair. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Shamika Sinclair has me. <laughs> the last word. What do you want us to know about Shamika Sinclair? That my album is coming soon. Mm -hmm. I know I've been working on it, but I've been trying to perfect it. And um, I have one more song left to do. I want it to, I, didn't want, I don't want it to be so short. You know, some some albums it was like five, you know, EP yes. five. You know, I yes. want to do something more, so I want to give people way more, and I want to do like two more videos. So that's what I've been waiting on. I've just mm -hmm. been, you know, working, mm -hmm. trying to live my dream, yes. trying to do the best that I can, mm -hmm. and the people love it, and they are willing to wait. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. I'm blessed about that. Well, you know, you can always call out to us. We love having you. Yes. And before you leave, you know, you need to give our viewers a little taste of Shibuka Sinclair. Okay. Okay. Said he didn't want me when he needed me. Said he didn't want me, but you're calling me. Blessing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And again, Thank we you. wish you so much success. Always a delight. Please keep in touch. I'll come to you first, always. Always. Bless. Thank you, Shamika. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Yes. Right back. <laughs> Hi, folks. You know who I am. I'm Shelby Smith of Shelby S Entertainment. And I'm the host of one of the hottest shows, if not the hottest show in New York City, and it's Simba NYC TV. A lot of you artists, you've been reaching out to me on Facebook and IG and saying that you want to be on this show. But you don't live in the tri-state area. So I'm going to fix that. We are going to be providing Skype interviews. I want to be able to show all the dopest artists, not only in New York, but all around the world. So, you know what you can do? You can reach out to me by my Facebook, which is Shelby Smith, by email, which is S-H-E-L-L-Y-S-W-K-R-S-S at gmail.com. You can go to my entertainment page, Shelly S. You can also friend me on Skype. And the name on Skype is Shelby Smith. Send me a link to your music and your time zone. That's so important because I don't want to be calling you while you're sleeping. So link me, link me, link me. And you can be an artist on Simba NYC TV show. Yes, it's all about you. Hi, my name is Leroy Griffith Jr., also known as Mr. Legion the Artist. 
I want to say thanks on behalf of A Time to Give Back to Africa to all who donated in 2018. From your donations, we were able to fill so many barrels, and now we need your help to ship these barrels to Africa. So please donate. A Time to Give Back to Africa is a non-profit organization, 501c3. That means that your donations are tax deductible. We believe that transparency is key. So check out our website, www.ttgbta.com, where you will see the actual giving of our donations each and every time to the people in Africa. You can contact us via our website or by these phone numbers. Please get involved. We need your help. We can make a difference together. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. It's time to read. Today's book is titled About Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. This book offers a powerful story about a girl striving for success in a world that often seems like it's trying to break her. Jay believes she must get out of a poor neighborhood if she's ever going to succeed. Her mother tells her to take advantage of every opportunity. And Jay rides the bus far away from her friends to a private school where she feels like an outsider. She then accepts an invitation to join a woman-to-woman -woman mentorship program for at-risk girls. But just because her mentor is Black, Jay feels that she doesn't seem to understand where Jade is coming from. Jade is so tired of being singled out as someone who needs help, someone who needs to be fixed. Jade wants to speak to express her joys, her sorrows, her hope. This book, it speaks to the people who are trying to find themselves in the world. There's a little bit of Jade in all of us. The name of the book is About Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. Thank you so much for joining me on Book Talk, and I will see you next week. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. Hey, I'm Mr. Lee G, and thanks for visiting our page. This page is the home to Simba NYC TV show with the beautiful host Shelly S. And she interviews all the hot upcoming artists from around the world. And she shows their music videos. Other segments on the show is Book Talk, Health Corner, and Get Straight, the melodrama skit, which you don't want to miss. The Zara and Daddy Show, Unla Music Entertainment Inc., the Time to Give Back to Africa nonprofit organization, and it's also my home, so check out my music videos. The experience begins at your fingertips, so hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time we upload something new. And we upload something new every week, periodically. So hit that subscribe button and let that wonderful experience begin. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. Welcome to Health Corner. Got knee pain? Drink some soy milk. A sore back? Eat salmon. The right foods can ease your aches and pains. Recent research suggests that some of these foods, they pack as much pain-fighting power as common pain medications like ibuprofen. What we eat has a dramatic impact on the levels of pain in the body. The list of pain-fighting foods, they might surprise you. From fruits such as red grapes and cherries, which have high amounts of anatocyanins, the key to pain-fighting power. Herbs and spices such as ginger and turmeric, which are anti-inflammatories. Fish with its omega-3 fatty acids, just such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, trout, all top three sources of omega. Snap of tuna, striped bass, they're also very good. Soy products, which the secret lies in size, soy's ivory flavings. They also have anti-inflammatory pro properties. Coffee. Have you ever wondered why so many over-the-counter cold and headache medicines contain caffeine? Caffeine has pain, lowering powers of its own. There is relief in these readily available healthy foods. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner, and I will see you next week. Prevention is better than a cure. 
have corner. Daddy talking about who oh, I gotta do some go to the clinic and thing. You know about that now? Nah? Eh? Come like she trying to squeeze me in a flicking position, boy. I mean ask for that. I'm gonna call Nicholas and see what Nicholas say. Cause this is madness. We are supposed to just go along with she bullshit. Because I had to get my green card. I never asked you for this. Supposed to just take she lash and take she thing and, and, and done and, and thing. Call Nicholas. Got my man on my money and yeah, my money on my man. This my do. <laughs> Gov! I hear from this nigga in a minute. <laughs> yeah, what's good, son? Boy, dear boy, boy. <laughs> when I tell you this, you go say, you don't know how I get myself in this one. But check out this. Yo, when I call you and I share, the girl Nikki call me and tell me she breathing, right? Yeah, 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 you told me. Right. Guess what? Yesterday, Deborah come and tell me, yo, she take a pregnancy test and she breathing too, bro. <laughs> Where, my nigga? <laughs> what? Oh, hi. Damn, son. Yeah, boy. Damn, son. Wow, you got hit with a double whammy. So what you gonna do, son? Boss, I don't know, you know. But my father telling me about, oh, do let Debra find out. And that I gotta be nice to the girl and go with him, clinic and all kind of mad scene. But me trying to go through that, boy. Yo, son, you know what your pop said? That's facts. You can't let Debra know about this. That's for sure, my nigga. Cause you already seen what happened the last time. <laughs> Yo, man, I don't know what to tell you. But I'ma tell you this. You might have to run Shorty out of town, son. You might have to let Shorty know, yo, you gotta bounce, you heard? Nah, man, next thing you know, Shorty coming to your crib, banging on your door and shit, mad drama and shit, my son. Yo, you're not trying to go through that. You gonna have to probably get Shorty to bounce, my nigga. Word. Run. She out that tongue, but how until I go do that? How we doing that? You understand? Me want to do she nothing, you know? Me want to do she nothing, you know? I just want she to leave me alone, boy. You understand? So I can get my thing, get my green card, boy. Me trying to go through that with she, boy. And any time you see Deborah find out, it's a problem for me, partner. You understand? She see me dancing on her Instagram and done with me already. You done with that already. So you can imagine she find out this? But I didn't do something, boy, Nicholas, boy. Yo, son, I don't know if you follow me, son. I ain't talking about no violence. Ain't nobody getting locked up over here, over no shorty, my nigga. Are you crazy? I'm not talking about no violence or no trying to hurt her or nothing or threaten her or nothing like that. I'm talking about bread, my nigga. Money. Money. Money talk, my nigga. And bullshit walk. You heard? You just probably gonna have to hit her off with a couple stacks or something. Let her bounce, man. That's what I'm saying. Gotta do something. But why get that money? How much money you talking about, so? How much money I go out of this office there, right? Or why, what kind of money you talking about, so? Like? Son, just ask her, my nigga. Ask her what's her price. You heard? Listen, everybody got a price, my nigga. Money solve all things, my nigga. You heard? Ask her what's her price. Simple. Just figure out a way to get it and give it to her, man. Cause you're not gonna 
jeopardize your whole movement, my nigga. You trying to get your green card, son. You know what I'm saying? And anytime Shorty find out, it's a wrap. You know it. But I don't know now, buddy. I don't know. You understand? Right now, I feel like I run out of solutions, boy. And I'm not trying to mess up this, boy. Oh, my green key hat, boy. I would live my life, boy. My nigga, I'm giving you a solution, son. Listen, one of my dudes, man, I think it was an African dude named Kofi or something like that. No, nigga, you know he doing his thing. You already know. Know what I mean? Shorty came to him on some crazy violation like that, son, trying to destroy his marriage and all of that. And guess what? She had a price. Shorty took the money and ran with it, son. He ain't heard from her ever since, my nigga. Know what I'm saying? And that's been years ago. Son, money talks, my nigga. Bullshit walk. Holler at Shorty, let up. Find out what's her price. You heard? Well, all right. Well, that's the option. I will see what it is I could do. But me not no big set of money like that, but you know that already, boy. Me not no big set of money like that. It let change me and you make a thing. A small thing. Me no money like that, boy. Son, listen to what I'm saying, my nigga. You hear what I'm saying? You done came too far with this shit, dude. You hear what I'm saying? Look how far you came. I mean, it's right there, son. You could almost taste it, my nigga. And you gonna let Shorty come and destroy that? Son, I don't know what kind of dude you are, man, but I wasn't gonna let that happen. That's for sure. You heard? I wasn't gonna let that happen, my nigga. You gotta figure something. You gotta do something, man. You can't come this close and just lose it all. And we ain't losers around here. We winners, my nigga. You heard? You gotta figure this out, man. You gotta do something, man. For something do you, you heard? Word. Like, man, I will think about what you just say, you know? But I say, you know, I ain't got nobody else to call and tell my business, you know what I mean? It's only me and you, I that man, you know, you that man, I share everything which is going on now. See? Son, you already know, man. Whatever we talk about, it's dead right here. You're not gonna hear it nowhere else. But, one thing I do know is this, my nigga. Money solve all problems, son. Holler at Shorty and do something to do. You gotta do something, you gotta do something. You gonna just let it happen? You gotta do something, son. What? Well, all right, then I will see what it is and I will think about it, you know what I mean? But right now, right now, my head real hot boy in the class, boy. My head hot, I ain't know which way to turn. I ain't if I go, you know, I come in right now. We go with this thing going. But all I know is that I want to make sure and get my freaking green card, boy. This guy can come and just mash up my living just so, boy. You understand? So we go see what it is I will do, you know? Wherever it is, we go work something out. You know, I gotta work something out. Yeah, no doubt, son. You know I got your back, my dude. You heard? I got you, son. Worry about it. We gonna work this out, son. Word, man. Yeah, my head back, Jim, but thanks, but you know what I mean? But we gonna talk, right? Yeah, my nigga. Hey, listen. You want? This dude, God, man, never stops. This nigga life is like a soap opera. <laughs> Always in some drama. That's my Trini dude. That's my son. That's my son, though. No doubt. And... <laughs> this thing pricking my conscience is like a weak note. When they tell their conscience, they tell their conscience, they tell their truth. I that man don't hide nothing from my wife. You understand that? This boy had me hiding this thing for a week. Look, you see me? Let me get this thing off my chest and free up myself, yes? Yeah. I am! How are you cleaning this story? I make a mess in here. You're not study that. Come, come, come. We'll do it later. Come, I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? You? I talk to this boy. I talked to this boy yesterday. And I talked to him a week ago. And I will tell you something, eh? I mean, you just dream straight. 
It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I did. You tell me you dream fish. How much fish you dream? Was a was a lot of fish. Remember, it was by the sea, and all the fish come in, and I remember the little silver. How? Don't tell me. Good. Gavin having a baby. I tell you this dream straight. Arrow! Arrow! I tell you this dream straight. The boy called me there yesterday and told me like the queen has shut on something in the oven baking. Arrow, we having a <laughs> grandchild. Yes! The boy put in one. I had to tell everybody in the church. I finally get it a grandchild. <laughs> but how? How you could keep that from me? It's only yesterday you called me and tell me that boy here and the wife. And you keep that whole night? Oh, <laughs> that's what you. you see, the whole thing about it is that that is only the half. You remember a couple months ago when this boy was going through a little problem and thing with the girl. Right? And he is getting a problem with the girl who he catch they catch him dancing in the party and winding up on this girl. Remember you the, the, the wife who is the wife? No. At the time she didn't want to be bothered with him. Anyway, I remember that Jezebel business. All right. She's still around. <laughs> well, she's still around in a big way too. Because I won't tell you this. He tell me when he and she went to a party, she ended up coming by him and spend a night and he did a lash. And now she talking about she pregnant and she breathing too. How you lie? Girl, I'm telling you. The boy called me frantic, frantic yesterday like a fish out of water. Telling me about all the girl breathing. The Mickey girl, he said, the outside girl and the wife breathing. How the wife, the wife know? The wife girl, I tell him to let the wife know. He come too, too far for, for him to let the wife know. You remember the wife that seemed on some kind of them social media business thing winding up on the girl and she ended up turning with him for that? Could you imagine how she here? He breathed the same blasted girl. Wait, it's going to happen to him now? Mm -hmm. I tell him to keep it on the law and don't say nothing. He begged me not to tell that him that. That is the only advice you could give your son? Oh, God, I mean, we want me to tell him again. We want me to tell him again. Eh? He must let the woman know and, then, and mash up the whole thing. How he tells me it's only about four, three or four more months again before you get the papers. You know? How this is a mess. This is a mess, Harold. You're telling me? I know. I know it's a blasted mess. The boy, the boy put himself in a set of hot water. You understand? But what is I gonna do? It's my son. And I want my son to get the papers. Eh? I want him to save the marriage too, yes. But I also want him to get the papers. I tell him, don't let the wife know. It come in the same situation with him. Eh? I my brother Tim. It's the same thing, like it's in the blood or something. It's the same thing happened to them. I bind that up, Harold. I had to get down on my knees and pray about this. Like Tim, I curse you from the root. What? Not like Tim, not my son. Mean I have to fix this. I mean, mean say I want my son to be like your uncle, you know. But I'm trying to tell you the same kind of situation. It's the same situation. So Tim was married and breathed two women outside. Eh? Eh? How? There's two women you breathe outside. There's three of them. There's three children you have the same age. I'm not saying I want that for my son, but this is what come and happen. So I had to say to myself, well, there's something in the family. How? I don't know. How? Or it, 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 it must be that they're more hot than the sweet. How? Eh? I have to pray about this. We are going to tell him again, Eileen. Eh? He begged me not to tell him nothing, not tell him, boy, I can't keep this thing no more because this thing's had to prick me, eh? It's had to prick my conscience. No, I vex with you. Oh, God, Eileen. You're not supposed to keep no secret from me. Eileen. You know that. Eileen. I just keep secret from you, Harold. Eileen, it's not a, a matter of me keeping a secret from you, you know. The boy begged me not to tell you until we could figure out how it is we go break this news thing because I know you're disappointed. And I'm going to figure out so far. All I tell him is to make sure and drink it so cold and don't let your wife know what is going on. And that's all the advice you could give him. 
But that is all the advice that they gave me at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the moment. More secret. You keep a secret from me. I know you're telling him to keep a secret from his wife. That is all the advice you could give her. I mean, what you want me to do again? Look at how much at stake. Eh? Look how long this boy's tree going on for you. This boy in America trying to get himself together. Now this girl finally come to get this, this next outside girl come at a job, you know, to try to mash up the thing. Huh? What you want me to tell him again? A secret is never a good thing. Eileen, Eileen. You see how this girl get on the last time when she just see him whining in her party. We should that again. Everybody just take a wine. Everybody just take a wine every now and then. Look how that girl get on. Hmm? So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to tell my son, go and tell you woman where it is going on. And then, then, then the next thing he take mash up. And he's so close. The boy's so close. Look how close he is to get the thing I did. We want me to tell him. Uh, I don't know. I don't think about this. Telling me, you telling me that my son, who just got married, and his wife having a baby, another woman, what kind of mess is this out? I I asked him to say the same last thing, but this is my child. It's still my son. Eh? You feel like it was some kind of madness happening and this thing get mashed up and he don't get himself together? Hmm? Look how long this boy waited. Eh? Look how close he is to the thing. What am I supposed to tell him? I suppose tell him, go and tell your wife. Go and tell your wife, they just bring a girl outside. Yes, and she has to take that. Eh? I'll that is what you want me to do? No, but I, I don't want you to keep no more secret. Now, how this woman going to feel? How this woman going to feel I nine mean, months later to find out that? I mean, and that we know. How, how, what kind of mess you, you make it I mean, messy? I mean, it's not that girl. It's not that. You understand? How once I, the, I'm able. Once the boy get up, once the boy get it in, he can explain to the girl what it is happening and any number could play. Any number could play once the boy get it in. I want my son to get the papers. A green card is important. He's living in America. Let the boy get the thing. I want him to get the thing. Wait, you see, I like holding secret. I tell him this secret, you know, this burn me and put my conscience for this whole weekend. Every night I lie down next day, I want to tell you where's the story. And I can't tell you because I'm, I'm studying the boys. Hmm? What we do is this. God is in charge. We're just going to pray about it. I know you, I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to talk to the sisters in the church and we're going to get down in prayer. Well, I mean, you have to do it as you have to do it. But I give the boy the best advice I can give a son as a father in this situation. To keep more secret. It's not to keep no more secret, I mean. I mean, like you understand, my man. It's not to keep no more secret. It's just to, 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 to keep things down and, and, and calm until certain things play off. It's three, four months before this boy gets a thing. What do you want me to do now? You're vexing with me. Eh? And you're buffing up me. I mean, 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 I my dear, I take a week to tell you, but now I tell you, no, you want to you want to hold that agency. What do you want me to do? So where are you going now? You gonna keep more secret? You see, you see, look at look at look at what you tell me now. I go in the road. I go in the road. Me not no secret out the road. But we find you can't keep secret. Now you see, you want to hold that against me now, eh? You see how things are going out there, eh? Look, you see me. I'm glad to see you happy. Yeah, I'm glad to be happy. You know. Have a beautiful wife. You know. Mm. I'm comfortable. My wife mm. just tell me. She bringing her baby, our baby into the world. So happy. So I'm wondering if it's a boy, or is it a baby? What kind of question is that? I don't name him Gavin. You gotta be Gavin Jr. Yeah, I'm not 
wanted a name with a little bit more Gavin. Listen, you gotta be Gavin Junior. <laughs> and if it's a girl, whatever name you choose, good with me. Yeah, Stan. Diana Sterling to the rescue. I cannot believe that they would have hired a magician as entertainment. Are they serious? <laughs> so you know what? I called the Kess manager and I said, Kess has to do this. He has to be there. It's for a worthy cause. And naturally, I got Kess. Okay, so I have Kess. And it's going to be at the Fatima College grounds, all inclusive, catered foods. I think I have everything, uh, the decorations, chairs. I think I might have it again, Diana Sterling. Brilliant. Ah, they are going to be so jealous of me. I think it's time to call my mom. Hmm. <laughs> We're now calling her still, you know? I think it's time for her to know. I think she'll be excited. Well, here's my wife. And I'm your husband. And your mother is my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, of course you are. Debbie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I just called to tell you some good news. Gavi has found a job. Mommy, I already told you. He's working. He has a job. But that's not why I called you. I called to tell you that I'm having a baby. Gavi and I are having a baby. You are going to be a grandmother. And daddy's going to be a grandfather. You're pregnant? Yes, mom, I'm, I'm pregnant. Um, yesterday I took a, a pregnancy test and um, I am pregnant. We are having a baby. Uh, this, is, this is kind of early. You just uh, just got married, just moved in. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, um, I'm, I'm happy for you. Uh, mom, where is daddy? Um, he went out. Uh, he should be back shortly. When 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 Daddy gets back, share the news with him. Share good news. But um, Gavi's here. We're sitting here, and we wanted you to be the first to know. Um, we're so excited. You know, just Deborah. I am so happy for you. How how are you feeling? I feel okay. You know, I thought. You know, they say you know in the beginning you have morning sickness. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm a little nauseous sometimes, but then I'm fine. Yes, I, I yes, Deborah. C congratulations, baby. Thank you, mommy. Okay, so we'll talk. Make sure you, you take good care of yourself. I will. And Gavi, he's right here. He's going to be taking good care of me. Well, that, that's nice. That, that, that's what he ought to do. Mom, Gavi sends his love and he sends it to both you and dad. And um, when daddy gets in, um, you know, share the news with him. And if anything, he can call us. Yes, I'll, I'll have him call you. Love you, Deborah. Love you too, Mom. Um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, bye. So what she said? She's happy in, in, her, <laughs> in her own way. <laughs> She's happy. <sighs> you know.
Bubble New York City. Yes! Tasty pepper sauce make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Shamika Sinclair, she is a serious thing. And this is how you can support this thing. Follow these emerging artists on their social media platforms, Facebook, IG, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube. Come on. And also subscribe to Simba NYC TV show. Go to YouTube, press subscribe and the notification bell so you can know what's happening with us. See you next week. Ja is life, it's love, and it's all we need. Show with Chubby S Entertainment.